Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today we're going to hook that to the camper for the first time. Our new Chevrolet 2500 gas powered three quarter ton pickup truck. So first time we hook it up, make sure everything works right. Here we go. Ready to go? Yep. Okay. All right, so it's pretty chilly out there right now. We're getting ready for our first trip in this truck, and we're gonna connect it to the camper to make sure that the rig, all the, the hoses reach, um, you know, the power cords, the uh, emergency brake cable, all that stuff, it reaches okay. And if we need to buy any extensions or anything, uh, we'll go out and get extensions, but we're gonna hook it up for the first time Try to get used to this new truck and the uh, controls that it has and the backup cameras and all that stuff. So this will be an experience and it's freezing cold. So, but uh, it's supposed to snow and rain next few days. So I wanted to get this done before that happens. Before I forget, shout out to Eli and Fawn, RV East Coast. Nice swag. Shirts are comfortable. I really appreciate it. Can't wait for the next time. Here we go. Well, the sway bars and things like that are not crucial at this time, but I do have to take off, take up the levelers in the back so they don't bend when I jack the camper up a little more. So we're gonna do that. look camera says it's good but I'm, I'm I'm not trustworthy so I'm gonna get out and look okay so the electrical reaches but not really it just reaches to the edge there so fortunately I purchased one of these extension type connectors and we're gonna try that Probably gonna have to twist tie part of this uh, you know zip tie it and uh, so the cord doesn't drag because it's just a little too long but three feet was the shortest one they had but it does the job just gonna have to attach it somehow so it's not hanging down too much but we're connected we got lights we got brake lights we got turn signals we're good okay well we know everything works got it all hooked up it's freezing cold out here about to head back inside first I'm going to unhook this you don't need to see that you know how to unhook a camper I hope and it's too cold for me to hold the camera and do this at the same time so we're not going to show you that part I am going to uh, unhook it I'm going to get back inside and uh, review what we learned we learned that the truck is significantly higher than the old truck which I already knew second we were concerned about the cable reaching the uh, from the electrical to the seven prong connector on the back of the new truck and It did reach but if you took a turn it would probably yank it right out So we had to get a little extension Which you can buy on Amazon. I think it was $25 or something like that and You plug that in and it'll reach just fine, but we have to find a way to get rid of some of the slack So it's not dragging or flopping in the breeze or whatever probably have to tape it up good so it doesn't come apart but otherwise, it look, looks like it'll work. We got integrated trailer brake. No more of that, you know, aftermarket stuff like we had in the old truck. Readout is right on the front here on the dash. So that's cool. The new truck, of course, has navigation and uh, Pandora connection, uh, Bluetooth. 
weather, etc. So this is our new, the inside of our new Chevy with the four real doors. Cassie's gonna love that big back seat. You're gonna love that big back seat. We'll see how she feels about it. It's comfortable, it's big enough for my large self. Uh, we're gonna have a good time. And we got a nice 6.2 liter engine to tow it with.